everybody a, a true uh, testimony to to what can be, and good luck to you this coming year at, at Otterbein. See. Another partner for us during this whole fight for immigration reform has been the faith community. The faith community has been with us in, in through the struggle from the very beginning. They've been pushing uh, Senator Voinovich from his own faith perspective as a as Roman Catholic. But we understand that the importance of, of coming together from people from different faiths. Today we have with us someone locally Whose, whose church is actually right across the street, the other side of the Capitol. Someone also who's a friend of the community is always there with us, for us, and gives us the support through the use of his building and certainly through his presence as well. I have the great honor to introduce my friend, the Reverend Richard Burnett from Trinity Episcopal Church right across the street. Ruben, let's say a word of thanks for all the organizers, Ruben and everyone else from Reform Immigration. Let's say a word of thanks. You're right, Ruben, we uh, are located on the other side of Capitol Square, Trinity Episcopal Church, and uh, years ago the former Roman Catholic bishop used to ask me, how are things at the cathedral? Our cathedral is, is 108 miles south of here on the Ohio River in Cincinnati, but I never disabused him of that. I always said, just fine, Bishop, it's just fine. Um, I think uh, Governor Vornovich, who used to make uh, his communion at the Roman Catholic Cathedral when he was here for eight years as governor of Ohio, used to think that uh, Trinity might be a cathedral church as well. Um, I know that Governor Voinovich made some tough decisions and some, frankly, unpopular decisions in the state based on his faith, largely standing up against the death penalty and other actions that he did as governor. I know that he has been a man of, of enormous honor with regard to his own faith commitments in his life as a legislator, and I believe that he'll want to end his uh, distinguished career as a senator with a legacy. I want to say a word about legacy. A legacy is more than just a chance to get something that someone else gave you beforehand. We go to college sometimes on a legacy grant. We use that term to suggest entitlement. But legacy actually is a passing on, a tradition, a giving of what is most essential and core in our values. The Roman Catholic Archbishop of, of Los Angeles uh, Cardinal Roger Mahoney writing about the recent uh, law in Arizona and bemoaning that law says the Catholic community is central to victory and justice on the immigration issue. We are an immigrant church ourselves since the founding days of the Republic. The immigrant experience is our own, having come to these shores from all parts of the world. We should be front and center in leading the charge for immigration reform, not only because it is a matter of justice, but also because it is part of our, our identity of what we are as a church. That is so true for the Roman Catholic Church, for the community that Senator Voinovich, formerly Governor Voinovich, proudly is part of, but it is also true for many of us who believe that we all are God's people made and created in the image and likeness of God and standing up for justice wherever we are called to stand up for it and especially in this day the immigration reform cause. So I invite you to go with Ruben and the other organizers to the senator's office today to remind him of the legacy that he passes on to others in this state and in this country and to remind him that we also pass a legacy, a legacy to reform immigration now. Yeah. Reverend Bernad, he never disappoints. Give him another hand. Yeah. Thank you for saying it like it is and for calling the governor and the senator. I, I want to point to our calendar again. and If you can look at it closely, they've taken some great time. We've had some artists come in from, from outside of the state to help us with it. <laughs> Uh, uh, and the green, I believe, uh, Mark, signifies you see the green in August and September when he is in Ohio. Is that correct? Yeah. And, and George Voinovich, Senator Voinovich's birthday is coming up on June 15th. Uh, July 15th, excuse me, July 15th. That's coming up. 
We have Mark, the Ohio State foot home football games, or the football games, right? Of course, that's important. We have the holidays. What else do we have on there? His birthday. His birthday, that's right. I said that. Anything else? His anniversary. Anniversary. When's his anniversary? November 21st. November 21st. All right, we have Christmas marked under, and, and Thanksgiving is a, a turkey there and a, a beautiful Christmas tree there as well. So, and, and a Halloween. So the holidays, uh, 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 people took some time to, to, to do this, and but but the point is, is that Senator Vornovich, there is a final countdown, un cuenta final. We have a, a final countdown. So I want you to repeat after me, if you could. I want you to, to put your voices toward his office where we will be marching to very soon. So please repeat after me. Senator Vornovich. Senator Vornovich. Senator Vornovich. Senator Vornovich. Senator Vornovich. We're here. We're here. We're, we know there's a final countdown. We know there's a final countdown. We appreciate what you've done. We appreciate but we want more. We, want more. we demand bold leadership. You have a final countdown in the Senate, and we demand, and we demand that you show that bold leadership and support comprehensive immigration reform. And yes, the Dream Act right now.